Hey, what's up, you guys? I've been your best here bringing another Marvel Legends tour review of the Marvel Legends Build a Figure Wave Juggernaut. This figure is amazing, dude. Um, at first, I was on that whole bandwagon of Toy Biz is the best at making Marvel Legends, but after I got over that, I'm totally disagreeing with that statement, and Hasbro has definitely beat Toy Biz completely. So, this figure is just really cool. So, let's get into some of the details and the cool parts of the figure. First, being this head sculpt. This looks very nice. You can see the chip in his tooth right there. It looks very cool. It's very mean. It's kind of hard to see the eyes, but they're there. And actually, it's a separate piece. You can see right there. The head doesn't come out, but um, it's still there. And it's it's a pretty cool attention to detail. It's not like it's glued in. I mean, it's not like it's painted on there. So, it's there. It looks pretty cool. And it looks like he's like kind of like grinning down. So, it looks really angry. You can see all these bolts in there. Um, Juggernaut, his helmet usually is like this, where it's like bolted into like his shirt thing. But um, for the figure, they had to like make it a separate piece, which makes sense. I don't really mind. It's very cool. It's kind of like this dome area. It's usually, some versions are like triangles, some are like circles. It's kind of a mix of both right here. It looks very cool. Some bullet holes. Very nice, man. Uh, the muscles are very cool on this figure. You can see right there the back muscle right there. It's awesome, dude. Um, it would have been cool if they did like a butterfly joint right here. It looks perfect for one, but it is all right. You know, it wouldn't. It would have been very cool. These armbands are very nice. You can see some bullet holes. Same right there. Even one on the hand, and the hand has some veins right there. It looks very cool. It's kind of hard to pick up, but he does kind of have like a tan, and it looks very nice. Uh, the belt looks awesome. Look at the detail in there. Very cool. There are some versions of Juggernaut where he doesn't have a belt. Um, mostly the classic version. So if you really wanted to, you can like separate at this, separate it at the base, and um, have him without the belt. But the belt is a separate piece, so you can do that easily. Legs are pretty cool. Um, this is made of like a burgundy red, so it's very cool. Burgundy brown, burgundy red. Very nice. And the boots look very cool. They have this detail where you can see like some of the uh, marks in there. It's kind of hard to explain, but very cool. Even some wrinkles in the shoes, treads at the bottom of the feet, and peg hole. And yeah, very cool. He he's also very girthy as well. Um, I will do some size comparisons, but still a very very cool figure. Articulation is also very nice. Head looks up very far. I wish it could move a little bit farther, but it's as far as it can go for a guy who's wearing a, like a helmet. Moves down, side to side, left and right. Arm moves back and forth, up and down. Swivel at the bicep, single jointed elbow, which I wish it would have gone in just a bit more, but it is all right. Moves at the wrist and moves up and down. You can also move these bands if you really wanted to. He has a very nice ab crunch. Waist swivel, like moves forward and back and out. Swivel at the thigh single jointed knee which almost works like a double jointed knee which is very cool no castle but he has an ankle pivot and foot moves back and forth so articulation for a bigger figure like this it works very nice comparing juggernaut to some other versions of himself here he's next to the series 6 juggernaut from toy biz and like i said man hasbro has finally beat toy biz um just looking at this figure now it's just super awkward like no one's arm goes to their calf like that and the body is just unproportional on the torso but the cool part about this figure is um, the same thing I was talking about where the helmet is like bolted into his, like his suit. It does have on this figure and you can also take off the helmet and you can see Kane Marco there, which looks awesome. But this figure doesn't have it exactly. But um, I have seen people take this head, have it casted, painted, and then put it on this head. And then um, I have seen people just take off this head and just put it on this figure and just have it like that and i'm kind of conflicted you know i don't really need to do that as far as like unless i get a second one and i would have to get a second juggernaut because this figure is kind of like precious to me so i don't really want to mess it up but a close competition for this figure is the marvel select juggernaut which has been my favorite juggernaut for years and this figure just came out and i'm kind of conflicted on which one i like better like don't get me wrong, this figure is awesome, but this figure is just amazing as far as like the girth. When I think of the Juggernaut, I just think of this big dude just coming and everyone's just like kind of scared. This one is kind of like, kind of like, I don't know, it's just, he just doesn't have that like huge Juggernaut of like girth that I like. 
this one does and he's heavy too he's at least like five or six pounds this one is like three or two pounds so i don't know man i'm kind of conflicted on which one i like better but both these guys are really cool and i also have seen people take this head and put it on this one which i don't understand why but it is what it is and he does also have the bolted in thing to his chest where you can see like it does look like it's just one piece whereas this one it just looks like a separate and comparing him to your average six inch figure he is next to the pizza spider-man and here he, he's under his chest so it's a really good height you know it's very cool and just for um the fun of it here he is next to the 90s x-men toy juggernaut so pretty cool overall i love this figure this is one of the best builder figures from hasbro ever they definitely improve as far as like their product and their quality just a really really nice wave man um getting every figure in this wave has been pretty easy except for deadpool and deadpool didn't come with the juggernaut piece so it, you know it is all right so far but um i hope to find that deadpool eventually but this figure i'm gonna have to give it a 9.5 the reason for that score is because um, he is missing a couple pieces of articulation in some places i wish he had it but other than that it's just it's the juggernaut dude like he's amazing like you can't have you cannot have a juggernaut in your collection so um just by that you, you need to pick this wave up it's a really good wave um i want to apologize for being away for the past two weeks i was camping and i was out of state and now i'm sick so um videos are still coming but i still have to get better and um, i'm trying to work on a bunch of stuff as far as like behind the shop avenger acba and um school so yeah all right guys take care peace